my eyes to the ground There's no one else around Cause I need to be found Before I step out of bounds Just take a look at me And tell me what you see Look into my eyes And then you'll realize Just tell me where to go In a place I'll know Then I'll find peace of mind. When I first ended up on the streets in 92, I had uh, lost contact with my family, namely, namely my brother. And uh, uh, once you're suddenly alone and uh, without a job, you, you tend to become uh, a roaming hobo, ultimately. And uh, so I ended up at St. James. They gave me good help. Uh, they were a good family environment. And, uh, well, it, it, it creates a sense of reassurance. And uh, that helps people, you know, go through the difficult times. And that's the most important thing. You know, people, they gain a sense of uh, uh, self-assurance. And uh, as a result, they could function, go through the difficult events of life. Oh no, it's Charles Dagui. If I do something, I'm preoccupied to do art, and I'm going to stay in position to maintain in... Parce que des fois, vivre dans, dans les positions quand on vit dans la rue, des fois, on ne sait pas qu'est-ce qu'on fait. Mais je vais te dire une affaire, c'est assez difficile. Oui, Puis vivre dans l'art, là, pour moi, c'est comme vivre à me préoccuper. La, la, la vision, de, pour moi, c'est important. Les gens disent. You know, you save people's lives with your services here. You know. The people need those services, you know. Juste d'avoir une place autre que les, les rues pour venir. To, to walk in the street all day long is not cool. Man. It's not fun. Ben, j'ai découvert que, étant donné, à un moment donné, j'étais dans une période où j'étais seul. Ça m'a aidé beaucoup, là, psychologiquement. T'sais. Parce que, comme je disais, quand tu n'as rien à faire de, ta, de tes journées, je pense que le centre de jour Saint-Jean remplit bien mes journées. Là. Fait que là, le Saint-Jean, ça m'a apporté euh, ben, des choses. Des nouveaux, un nouveau style de vie. Okay. Euh, D'habitude, moi, c'est rare que je suis dans une maison. Tu sais, dans un... Je suis tout le temps dehors, je fais des activités dehors, quand il fait beau, quand il fait pas beau, mais là, je m'arrange à aller ailleurs. Me, I come just to, just to paint. You know, I, I don't mind if someone's uh, talking or if there's music, I don't care, but uh, I come here to try and... Uh, parce que moi, je suis uh, de nature, je viens de la nature. Je suis de la campagne. Dans ma conscience. Anytime I, 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 I realize I'm not here, I see the image of the country in my head, that's where I am. So when I come in here and I paint a, a landscape or a church or something, I'm up north. So it's, uh, it's sort of like a, 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 a manière de définir ton schizophrène, ton schizophrénie. I, I, I come in and I paint my schizophrenia on paper and then I go home and it's all right. I got two worlds in there. Originally, uh, the church started at the drop-in. It was about, well, 25 years ago. There were all these people coming in and asking for help with meals and things like that. Uh, and a steady stream of people. And somebody, I have a feeling it was one of, one of two people. There was a young minister at the church and uh, an amazing uh, older woman who was one of the church deaconesses decided we had to come go past the, uh, the simple handing out of meal tickets to looking at a long-term solution. So they hired as a consultant uh, a woman called uh, Lucia Kowalik, a professor of social work at McGill. She sat down here, downstairs, and watched everybody coming into the church and talked to them for six months and then said, you know, there's a, there's a major crack that people are falling through in the, the way of helping homeless people in Montreal. People look at the... the uh place where it's no home, where no, uh, no place to hang your hat, and that's a big one, and that's very visible, but it's also uh, um, aspects of uh, 
no voice, a powerlessness that's there within your life. And within that powerlessness, there's just no control. La plupart, euh, je dirais, moi, à Saint James, qu'il y a quoi, 90% des gens ont une chambre. Mais c'est pas tout d'avoir une chambre. C'est sûr que le travail euh, des travailleurs sociaux, c'est des accompagner, des sortir de la rue. Mais c'est pas tout d'avoir une pièce où est-ce que tu as quatre murs. C'est pas assez. Donc, euh, ils sortent et pour pas se retrouver à la rue, des centres de jour comme Saint James. C'est ça la place. C'est pour ça qu'il faut que ça existe finalement. C'est de ne pas se retrouver toujours avec le même pattern, de retourner à la rue. Donc, pour briser l'isolement, euh, il y a la grande salle du centre, évidemment, où est-ce qu'il y a vidéo, jeux de société, tout simplement camarades. Mais l'atelier est une, un gros morceau pour centre de jour. You know, I consider St. James Drop in Center to be like my second home first of all. Second of all, it's done me a world of good. Uh, my therapist tells me that uh, since I've been coming to uh, St. James, that uh, I'm in some ways a different person, in a positive manner. Um, I, uh, I love the people. The staff are the greatest. Uh, Incidentally, uh, a little note here, uh, sidetrack if you will, that uh, Alan, of course, who's our director, he has this knack of picking the right people in terms of uh, knowing what uh, complements the, uh, the member as well as the, uh, the, the worker, whether it's a volunteer or a, uh, a paid employee. There's a way of approaching the homelessness and the poverty, which is for us not economic probably, but more relational. That's probably the, the, the different slant for St. James is we don't try to narrow it down to economics, we try to bring it to the forefront of relations. And I guess that's the big thing is, and that's been our motto for the last year, has been a home is more than four walls and a roof. This, this idea of community outside of you know, your family and outside of your friends and, and connecting with people that, um, you know, you're from all different walks of life and, um, And it's been great to see what comes out of this connection. Like the art here is is vibrant. The poetry, you know, the music, the the stories, the cooking, whatever it is, it's it's great when when you can see um, community flourishing. Et actuellement, on est dans un atelier d'art. Il arrive que des fois on expose. C'est ça, Saint James. C'est une occasion pour les artistes d'être vus. Puis aussi en même temps de, de sensibiliser les gens à l'itinérance de Montréal. Well, we have a lot of services, really diversified. You know, we, we probably had about three or four staff uh, four years ago, or almost man, nine or ten now. So, um, what we've tried to do is diversify. So, at the core, we still have the basic services. We have, you know, we have showers, we have clothing, we have we have shelter space. That's always going to be at the base of what we do. Uh, we offer meals as well and uh, food bags. But we've, you know, we've diversified. We have, um, uh, as of for the last year now, we've had a housing coordinator and an outreach worker who are going out into the community and finding um, suitable housing for, for uh, some of our members and also making sure that there's um, a proper uh, progression in their lives. And so we, are, we organize workshops and activities to help them along that journey. But we also have... Um, Uh, you know, art therapy now and uh, music, uh, poetry, Bible study. Uh, we do a lot of workshops in a lot of different mediums. Toute cette, cette indifférence là qui vivent à tous les jours, puis que nous autres on essaie de, de contrer ça, d'aller contre ça, puis le, leur dire, hey, t'es quelqu'un, t'es quelqu'un d'important, t'es quelqu'un qui a son importance pour d'autres personnes. Listening to somebody, I think that's the most important. If you can't change someone's life, at least you can, I don't know, share something with them, help improve their quality of life. I think social interaction is really important. There's still people that you work to help, so there is the working relationship with them, but it's hard when someone looks at you and says, like, I was born 
back in the 60s and then I was adopted and I got into drugs and I got into gangs and I spent time in jail and then they look at you and say like tell me about yourself and you're like sorry professional like there has to be some sort of meeting in the middle if they trust me then I have to trust them Pour pas tout faire ça, ça me prenait euh, du monde comme nous autres euh, à m'aider à m'en sortir. Sinon, je retournais à cause de pas. Without hope, uh, what else do you have? Saint James, c'est ma plus belle expérience de ma vie. Je me sens ouvert, je me sens comme chez nous. C'est comme une maison. Dans...